Horizon just got updated to Minecraft 1.20.30 or of course 1.20.31. It works for both of course. So right now I'm going to show you how to get it. You want to head over to Horizon.download which I will link somewhere near the top of the description with both of my Discord servers. One of which is dedicated to clients like this. So if you're interested, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join. Anyways, you can download the client over here. However, if you actually already have the client, you don't need to re-download it. So I just wanted to say that I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe because I make a lot of content on this and as you can see by this time over here and the time in the bottom left, I am making this video 3 minutes after Horizon is updated. Which means that if you subscribe to me, you'll get notified every single time Horizon updates as well as with a bunch of other stuff. So basically, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could do that. Thank you very much. Anyways, here in my downloads, we have the Horizon Injector. And as I said, if you already actually have this on your device, you won't need to re-download it. Anyways, we can launch this, and then what it's going to have to do, as it always does, is actually re-download the uh, DLL from online. So we can click on Inject here, and it'll start downloading the DLL. And then, as you can see, it has now injected itself into Minecraft. And... As you can see, it works for 1.20.30 and 1.20.31, and you can see that in the bottom over here as well. So that is, of course, amazing. Now, I have a very in-depth tutorial on how you can actually use this. Um, so if you're interested in that, that is also going to be linked down in the, in the description. However, for right now, I'm just very quickly going to show you guys how to use this so you can at least get started. So loading into your world, you'll see that in the top left you have a little bit of a small menu and in the top right you've got a thing that says anti-bot. Where that anti-bot is, that is where all the hacks will show up that you have enabled. To open up the hack menu, what you want to do is press on the insert key on your keyboard, which is oftentimes labeled as INS or sometimes as screen link as well. Anyways, um, some people have a 60% keyboard or can't find the key. What do you do then? Well, you want to go into the chat and type dot bind space, then click GUI just like that, and then choose any key you want. For example, F because it's nice and close to WASD. Then you can hit on enter, and as you can see, the key bind of click GUI is now F, which means if I press on the key F, it is going to open up. So that is really nice that that is going to work like that. Now all these hacks, if they're blue like that, that means that they're going to be enabled. Um, and basically you can click on them to enable them and click on them again to disable them. On the ones with a plus over here, you can right click on them. And then as you can see over here, you'll get a little menu in which you can customize the hack specifically. Anyways, if we um, exit out of here, then you'll be able to see that there is, as I said earlier, a menu over here. Some people don't like that. So you can head into the menu by pressing your key bind and then disabling the tab GUI as well as the array list. What that's going to do is, as you can see, remove those two things from my screen. Anyways, that was a, basically a really quick tutorial on how to use them. Also, you can hover above most of these hacks. Um, well, most of them are pretty self-explanatory to start off with, but you can hover above them and in the bottom left, you'll see a little description. Anyways, as I said, that was basically it. Once again, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed if you like my consistency. And otherwise, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.